Here at Apple, our goals have always been one. We tried to aim to create the world's perfect smartphone with no flaws and no imperfections. This year, making the iPhone 12 Pro, we have partnered with XI Tech to provide the best user experience. A 10-year-old design, a 2-year-old chip, and 5G. This is iPhone 12 Pro. The vertical band is made from this metal that we've been using since 2017. The glass on the front is tougher than any glass. The tighter borders allow for a smaller form factor, but this is the Pro, we don't do that here. 5G is set to drain our battery life with the radically faster speeds, but this is not our fault. Intel gave up on making modems, leaving us no choice. A14 Bionic is slower than A12X from 2018, but hey, you can play League of Legends on it, right? The almost carbon copy of last year's camera system makes it the photographer's iPhone, not unlike another Pro. The larger iPhone 12 Pro Max takes the camera bump even further. The camera drastically does nothing for 10 seconds to capture low light photos. The custom design LiDAR scanner also does absolutely nothing. We've had this in iPad Pro for a while now. iPhone 12 Pro meets last year's benchmarks in a few areas. And no. The movie industry will not be using this device for any real productions. It is the world's first device that can capture, playback, and edit 10-bit HDR footage, which... Okay, yeah, that is kind of impressive. iPhone 12 Pro comes in two sizes and four finishes, not including the well-loved midnight green. We also put a ring of magnets on the iPhone, which has nothing to do with MagSafe, but we'll call it MagSafe anyway. All this and more makes iPhone 12 Pro the most powerful iPhone until September.